All right, so what I did mine on was uh, understanding narration and how people can navigate um, through a storyline based off of choices. Uh, oh, let me start off. So if we go through, we can see that um, you're given a narration uh, story, and then at the end of the story, you're given choices. And based off of the ones you click, you will end up to different endings till you get to the end. Yes, exactly like Goosebumps. That's what inspired this. <laughs> right. Yes, and I keep my sidebar hidden. You see that about Um, so what I had to do is hide sidebar. There's also a album. And I think what you do is you have to when it's hidden. So All right, instead, of, instead of it rendering on the sidebar, so now there's a there's still a button there, but you can't see it. I also added a map okay. to organize my data. Um, it actually did because it, it helped me see how many of the same endings I had. Um, and any of the same endings I would be able to end up putting into one tiddler and um, that uses up less memory overall. It's greater for larger projects as well. Can you go back to that map? Yeah. It just tells me information. Oh, you I can't. Can, you can probably change that to like one that five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you can. I mean, that's cool. Those are, okay, so it lets you edit to those? Yeah. So what's in the, okay, so this is a whole other layer of data, right? It's got the concept of a node. Is that the same thing as the tiddler? So this is exactly pulled from the tiddler. Uh -huh. If I go back to one of the uh, tiddlers, right? Oh, let me display this. If I go back to one of the tiddlers, what it did is it found um, everything that was attached. So I have everything linked by previous, and I also have a caption that that pretty much controls the options. Right, so what happens is in my template, my story templates, it pulls those fields, it pulls the previous field, um, finds what's, what's marked uh, by the previous field, and it'll transclude the caption from it. And the map automatically found the caption and made it the title of the tiddler. Yeah. 
So you can actually use it. So make that full screen again, not that app. So you can't just, just use the map. I can't use the map to get to what I want, but I can open it up and see what that node holds. Right. If I added a node, then um, yeah. No, it was actually fairly easy because as soon as you come in here and you choose uh, which tiddler you want to pull in it automatically links them together for you. <laughs> no problem. And the last thing I did was add a uh, navigation bar at the top. So it pulls anything linked by top bar menu, which is right here. This is the code for it. It creates a selection Dropbox and finds anything tagged top top left bar, and then populates the Dropbox with it. And then I made a button that is hidden borders because it looks better. And the navigation the that saves the information. Yeah, I, I did that in the beginning. I just like Yeah, well, let's do this now. But keep that in mind.